So today what we're going to do is we're going to break down the process of painting a door jam, a door frame, but it all starts with the prep. Now our company is high output based, but at the same time, we really want to make sure that the quality is there. So I believe that our systems have been refined considering the constraint of speed and quality. So I believe that comparative to the other advice that you've seen on, online, this advice is going to save you a lot of time and you're gonna get the same result. This is filling holes, caulking, sanding, and then spraying. So what we're gonna do first is we fill the nail holes. As you can see, this door jam has been fastened with multiple 18 gauge nail holes right there. Looks like they got a little bit trigger happy there. Sometimes trigger happy is a common occurrence in the world of Finnish carpentry for the reasons being sometimes something just won't bend properly or whatever. I don't know, we just deal with it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Mason, he's going to demonstrate filling a door jam. So there's Mason, he is a refined nail hole filler as well as uh, many other things. But see all those nail holes? He's gonna just fill those things. First thing we have to consider that Mason already knows about is that sometimes these nail holes have a little bit of loose material still attached. Now we don't want that loose material to get behind the nail hole so it's important to consider when you're before you put the filler in doing a little bit of a scrape off of off the those loose material. So go ahead Mason and do your thing and I will do the play-by-play. -play. I also see the time so I can see how long you're doing this. No pressure, no pressure man. The nail hole filler that we choose to use is called Elmer's Wood Filler. And the reasons why we use this filler is it has very minimum shrinkage. It sands extremely well. It's basically a liquid version of MDF. There's lots of different fillers out there. But this one seems to work the best for the constraints that we operate by, which is speed and quality. Now the other option is you can always put two filler coats on if you really want to go hardcore. Some people do go hardcore because they're getting paid to eliminate the nail holes completely. But in our case, we have addressed this with the customers and said, you know what, do you care about getting rid of the nail holes completely? Because we can but it just takes way more time. So industry standard is one nail hole fill gets you a nice result. So you can see he's averaging about one to two seconds per hole, which is pretty impressive. And you can see those holes are filled. Some finished carpenters leave less of a mark. Some finished carpenters leave more of a mark. Really all depends on the person who's fastening the nails and the conditions in which he was fastening them in. You can see here, I bet you he was trying to just get that crack to be way nicer and consistent. So he had to fasten much more nails to get that crack to be nice and small. But that's nail hole filling for you.